Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make two super easy lunches that take you no time at all. So I just got off the bike, I biked for 25 minutes, nasal breathing only, relatively low intensity, and the, the secret here is I can have carbs now because I did a workout and they have some place to go, right? After I eat the carbs, if, if the muscle can't take them up, then they tend to just kind of stick around and get stuck into the liver, hopefully, or into the arterial walls, if not so hopefully. <laughs> um, so I did light activity though, so I don't deserve a whole lot of carbs. So I'm gonna pretty much consider this a not post-workout meal. I'm gonna have very few carbs. And the first meal I wanna show you is kind of a hack, kind of, kind of, I don't know, kind of a trick. I'm not gonna cook anything. It's just the food that I had last night. So if you decide to make extra food at night, you can just make yourself a plate and I can heat that up and have that for lunch. That's usually what I do. But I'll show you a whole nother uh, meal that I like to do. It's super easy. So what we're gonna start with here is this tiny bowl and some pulled chicken. So we bought some rotisserie chicken. Allison just peeled it all out for us or pulled it all out for us. I'm gonna fill up this little bowl because I like my chicken not to be cold because I think that's gross. And I'm just gonna fill it up with chicken. This is a mix of dark meat and light meat. Uh, light meat is a little more lower calorie. So if you're concerned about that, keep that in mind. Uh, I'm kind of hungry, let's do a little bit more. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna just cover this up and heat it up. Now I think this is maybe important. One of my friends taught me this one, but if you're using the microwave to reheat food, it's really easy to cook it again. And it was already appropriately cooked, so I don't wanna cook it anymore. What I did is I put it in for two minutes and I hit power level 50%. So that will heat it up more slowly. It won't give such a sharp uh, energy into the, the tissue, which will then dry out the meat. I don't like dry meat. It's hard to swallow. So, put my chicken away. Keep it as fresh as I can. And then while that's going, I'm gonna just make my salad. So I'm pretty much out of lettuce here. So I'm just gonna dump this in. Inspect, it looks fine. Dump that in. Get the little last bits here. Put that away. And I knew that wasn't gonna be enough, so I grabbed some more lettuce as well. This is arugula, throw that in as well. So now I got a mix of greens, which will be Nice, that was already a mix of greens, I suppose. And then I like to put some other stuff in there. So first let's do, uh, we just have some cilantro lying around and I know that if I don't use it, we're not gonna use it. So I'm just gonna pull some off and put some in. I just use my hands to make it a little more bite-sized. The lettuce that you buy in a spring mix is already pretty big, so I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. Just chew, <laughs> chew for a little bit longer. It's actually good for you. It helps you get fuller. Um, I'm gonna put some nuts on there. Not too many, because there's a lot of fat in there. It's pretty high calorie. Um, not the biggest issue, especially since I just worked out and I am a growing boy. Uh, I like some pine nuts now. We got these laying around as well. You can do any sort of nuts. I really like uh, sliced almonds on there. That's super good. They just, it adds some texture, right? So if I'm just chewing on lettuce, uh, salad is not very good. <laughs> Um, and, and I don't want to use too much dressing, which we'll, we'll get to here, um, because that's where most of the calories come from. There's a lot of fat in dressing. That's what, you know, that's what coats it, that's what gives it some flavor, and it's okay to use it, uh, but it, when you go to like, <laughs> you go to the store and you get a salad at Outback or whatever, those salads are generally about as high calorie as any other meal, and it's just because there's so much dressing in it. Or like if you get pecans there, it might be candied and covered in sugar, which is, you know, maybe not a lot of calories, but it does something to your brain. It makes you crave the sweetness um, and you get really used to having sweet stuff. So if you're going to start eating for more health, sweet is, 
is okay in moderation, but it's it's not very nutritious. So if I rely on sweet stuff, I'm only going to get a little bit of carbohydrate calorie, and that's pretty much it. And that's the, the microwave yelling at me. Let's just put some of this on. I do, there's two ways that you can use dressing. One, you can be crazy and do it super light like I do, or generally easier, especially if you're eating out somewhere, just ask for the dressing on the side. Uh, and it comes in this, you know, tiny little cup, the ramekin. And then you just dip your fork in it. If you have something oily like this, it doesn't work so well, but if you have something, like if you like ranch or something more creamy, you just dip your fork in it and then get your bite. And then when you put it in your mouth, the, the dressing, the flavorful stuff is right there on your tongue. And so you feel it maximally. Now, uh, this is pretty much it. I also want some fruit. And we're running out of fruit. Normally I use berries because I feel like my body likes berries a little bit more. This looks okay. I think Allison washed it this morning, so I'm just gonna throw a little bit in. This gives me some sweetness. And now that I don't, you know, now that I've been eating healthy for a while, fruit to me is like dessert. It's like, <laughs> it's great. And when I have a more traditional dessert, it's so overwhelming. It makes me sick, you know? That's not something that happens overnight, but you can get, once you get used to it, it's, it makes it a lot easier. That's why when you start your diet, the uh, hardest, and I say diet as if it's not something you're gonna do every day for the rest of your life. Um, when you start changing how you eat healthy, um, hardest part is the first week, for sure. And then biggest deal here is just to kind of, if I have I get this giant bowl, it's kind of ridiculous. You see it's as wide as my torso. Um, but it allows me to do some mixing and it allows me to have a giant lance sized portion. I've only been out to eat with friends on two separate occasions where somebody ate as much as me. So I tend to eat a lot. That's not a good thing necessarily. But my, food, my food over here, I'm gonna put it back in for 30 seconds on 80%. Again, if I go really high, it's gonna overcook it, it's gonna dry it out. But if I go 80% and I only go for a little bit, it's gonna give me the heat. So the, fifth, the two minutes at 50% will do it. And if I had more, you know, if I am not normally in a rush and trying to do this super quickly, I could do it for, you know, three and a half minutes on 50% and it'd probably be warm enough just to work for me. Uh, but normally what I do is two minutes on a half and then 30 seconds or a minute 15, depending on how much food I have on 80%. And then I just grab it and dump it in. It's gonna be kinda warm. Whoo, more than kinda. <laughs> okay, even hot through the paper. And that's pretty much it. You can uh, just, I mean, I don't measure anything out, just change however much is in there based on what you're looking for. But now I've got my protein source, I've got a bunch of vegetables, and I have a variety of other fats and even some carbohydrates that give, give my tongue, my taste buds, uh, some you know variety, like I said. And so it doesn't get so bland. If you're just chewing on lettuce, that's, that gets really old really fast. <laughs> so this is how I like to make salads. Put a bunch of stuff in there. You can put rice in here, you can put quinoa in here, if you're like post-workout or whatever, even if, you know, even for me right now, I could put some rice in here, it wouldn't be too bad. I just don't have any made. I actually found some beans, so I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. Hopefully, Allison isn't mad that I took her beans. <laughs> and then the last thing that I like to have with my lunches, uh, usually because it's not super high carbohydrate, like there's not a lot of added sugar in this, is this, uh, it's called Urban Remedy Organic Superfood Chocolate Chip Cookie. Um, it sounds like I'm being a fatso. There are uh, eight grams of sugar in one cookie. There are four in a package. Um, these cookies are so healthy that Allison will not eat them. <laughs> so they're not very sweet. It's not like a traditional cookie. You probably won't like it, but it's just a good way for me to get a little bit of sugar. Um, kind of holds me over and gives me some some energy, you know? I don't know, I just enjoy it. Uh, but goes well, especially after I have all this, uh, this green stuff. Those are two, remember, leftovers or a nice little salad in a giant mixing bowl makes it really easy to mix. 
um, two lunch meals that you can have, especially if you're trying to keep your carbohydrates low and eat super healthy. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos. I was gonna eat, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to talk. If you need something else to watch, check out my whole playlist on going through the kitchen and learning how to eat, uh, shopping minimalistically, not buying too much stuff, um, how to buy healthy things, what to stock your fridge with, uh, or I got another playlist on mobility circuits that you might enjoy. This is gonna be good. I just need to actually chew it.